Just before coming up on the swing arm removal, we went through our final status checks and received a loud and strong go from the mission director, Chet Lee, launch operations manager, Paul Donnelly, and launch director, Walt Caprian, responding to the request from the test supervisor. The lights now will be coming on on the abort panels of astronaut Pete Conrad. These are his cue lights for the five engines in the first Sequence start. We have the firing command. We're on automatic sequence. T minus three minutes and counting. T minus three. Once the automatic sequence began, we begin pressurizing those big fuel and oxidizer tanks. <laughs> Tower 
You are now watching the simulation that I spoke of before since we've lost sight of them above the clouds. The simulation of the rocket climbing up there through 40,500 feet, 53,600 feet, going at almost 2,000 miles an hour. And you hear there, they're going onto some of the backup fire systems. They've had a warning in one of the fire ports.
you're getting the altitude on our simulation. I was just going to say that altitude they're giving to us in nautical miles, we're showing it to you in statute miles. 110 statute miles up. Range 
Estimating cutoff at 11 minutes 35 seconds. 11 one, one, plus 35. 11 one, one, plus 35, roger, roger. Second now, they should be reporting in orbit. Shut down, 1.33, Houston. Roger. 